Welcome to another Let's Play of Clock Tower 3, and this is Day of Anarchy. Um, blah, blah, I am recording in a different place today. Actually, in my living room, which is a nice big place. I don't know if the record is going, um, the gameplay, the video is going to be different because it's on like a much bigger screen, but I don't think it should. Um, what else is just to say, um, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna, I might do this so very wrong, but I'm gonna take, um, Alifay's, oh, I've said that wrong already, um, advice and use, I think it was lavender water, I might be wrong, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Did it work? Ah, thank you, <laughs> thank you for telling me that, I'm very very happy you told me that, very very happy I got a, ma oh, I won't be wasting that again, I'm going to bit better what to do, oh that was very worth it, thank you for your advice, uh, so I guess I'm going over here now, um, yeah, Alifay is doing a Let's Play of Cocktail 3 as well. Um, which. Oh, there's nothing here. Which I'll be watching, but. Not ahead of me. Oh, wow. Also doing a Fatal Frame LP as well, which I'm very, very, very happy to see. Uh, what the hell is this? Some more reading, I guess? Yes, Portal Squares. Drawing the portal squares as instructed is only the beginning. Remember, the portal square must be thoroughly purified with holy water until it has been sufficiently charged with energy for full effect. Only when the square is infused with light may the practitioner expect any grand breaking results. <laughs> I got nothing to say about that. I... No, nothing. I don't know what to think. But, oh. Is this a portal actually? What is this strange platform on the ground? What on earth was Mummy doing here? Mummy! Come on, you are almost 15. You shouldn't be saying Mummy now. Strange medicine bottles stand in a line. Yep. So do we have to pour some water on it? Oh! Yes, I guess we do. Um oh I was gonna refill my bottle but it don't matter, I guess there's somewhere we can refill this soon. I'll probably go on for an hour. This set uh, I keep I did say that about the last two sets of Resident Evils I did. But the thing with Resident e Evil is that I've been getting pretty addicted to it or oh. A large container. It's been left outside and it's corroded. Um, like a whole lot of nothing has been going on so far. I uh, yeah, might as well do another set. And at the, at the end, I think it was part 20 of um, Resident Evil, uh, Lab in the Water. Um, I got ticked off at the end because I couldn't save. Because I really wanted to end it, but I couldn't save. So yeah, I got to do that bit again, which you're probably going to see anyway. So yeah, and now I know I know what's gonna what's gonna happen. Um, I will um, be a bit more prepared for that. Right, I should have really got a drink before. Oh, there's a teddy bear down there. Before then. Oh so, yeah, there's a crumpled up newspaper article in the corner. Family tragedy, mother and son in acid bath with Shocker. 23rd November 1963, Crowley, West Sussex. Two decomposed corpses were found in a house in Russell Street on Tuesday. The victims were Dorothy Rand, 65, and her time maker son. Albert ran 34. They were found in a drum filled with acid in the garage adjoining their house. 
The suspect is believed to have escaped with a sum of money after the grisly crime. Albert Rand lived together with his mother, a widow who was, who was certified blind and required assistance in everyday tasks. Mr. Rand's eyes have been gouged out prior to his murder, and police profilers are on the trail of the man who committed such a monstrous crime. Police are seeking the whereabouts of a young man who had been staying with the Rands a few days before the murder, claiming to be a distant relative of Mrs. Rand. He arrived suddenly in the area and has since disappeared. So I guess um, this is about probably someone I'll be meeting soon. Right, um, hold on a minute. Uh, oh, oh, what the hell is that? It's red. It's not coming after me for some reason. Teddy bear. Stupid, like, go up. I just, I just cancelled it, you idiot. That's why I was pointing there, you idiot. Go up. Uh, what am I meant to do? It's a dark in it's very dark inside the manhole. Oh, I can hardly bear to look. There's a heart shaped pendant in its hand. I guess it, I guess this is the only half of it. Or maybe not. Oh I know, we've got to find the other half. I get it, I get it. Sorry, one of my brothers again decided to interrupt me during the last place, which he knows he shouldn't. Which is really annoying. And I'm not editing it out, because I shouldn't be really. Alright, I'm going to stop talking while I'm against some fool. Well, what's down here? Inside the black is scorched and blackened. A crush box is in the reef. Where is it present being delivered? I guess I've got to put something else in there. No, don't talk to that. To get rid of that ghost, we'll have to do that. But we've got no gifts or whatever they are. So let's go in here. Now, all the stuff that I did want to talk about has gone right over my head. I can't remember anything. Um, I can't remember anything what I was going to say because of that little interruption. Um, yay! No! Wow. Come on, hide. It's got, is this going to be the next stalker or something? What are you doing here? Answer me! Oh. Answer me! <laughs> What's that? What's that? Yeah, What's he's going definitely on? blind. I'm lucky for him. Mother. Where have you got to? He's missing his mother. Say something. Mother. Well, why did you kept silent? You, he could have helped you or something. I mean, he, he was holding a stick, but that's, I guess, a stick that helps you out with um, blindness. Um, yeah, he wasn't holding a sledgehammer or anything. You could have easily just asked for help. Why am I doing it? So that did nothing anyway. But another cutscene, you kidding me? Do, do, 
to me. Where on earth have you got to? I've been waiting for you, waiting for waiting. Oh, be careful, you're going to scald your hand. No, don't. You... We've got sensitive ears. Well, but I, I shouldn't say that, actually. Albert. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Get away from me! Get away from me! That was a pretty funny episode. <laughs> 